My name is Alan Richardson from eviltester.com. I'm going to give you a quick demo of some basic Windows command line usage, and I'm going to use XP and Vista for this, for reasons that will become apparent as the video goes on, although everything you're going to see will work on Windows 7 and Windows 8, as I will explain. The basic use case I'm going to demonstrate is starting a command line and changing to a directory so that I can execute commands from that directory. So the first thing I need to do is have the command line open. To start a command line, this is XP, I can either click on it from the start menu, start command prompt, that will open it up, or I could do start run and then type CMD, which stands for command line, that will open it up, or I could do Windows R and then CMD to run it. Three different ways that will all work fine. In Vista, it's very similar. I can do start command prompt, great. Start, I can search for command, that will work. Or I can do Windows R CMD, that will work. So Windows key and R, the shortcut key, followed by command from the run dialog will work on all versions from XP onwards. So XP, Vista, 7 and 8. So if you get in the habit of doing that, you'll be able to switch between operating systems easily. Otherwise, start, then search for CMD should work across most. If you're on XP, Windows R, Start, and Command Prompt. So now I want to change to a particular directory. You can see in Explorer that I have C colon slash temp slash code. I've got that on both machines, so I want to change into that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that from the Explorer address bar. And if I move over to one of these command prompts, I'm going to type in CD, which means change directory. I'm going to put in slash D, which also means change the disk, because this uh, directory that I'm changing to might not be on the same drive as the command prompt. In this case it is, they're both on the C drive, but if I wanted to change to something on the D drive, I would put the slash D in. That might be exactly what you want to do, so I'm showing you this use case at the moment. Then I want to command, edit, paste to get the value that I've copy and pasted from the Explorer address bar into here, that will change directory. So we can do the same thing in XP. I'll copy the path from Explorer. I'll go over to one of the DOS windows. I'll type in CD slash D, because I'm going to change directory, including the drive. And I'm going to edit paste in the path, and then I will change to that path. And this process will work on any version of Windows. Other ways we can do this. If we're on Vista or above, then we can do a lot of this work from the Windows Explorer itself. So I can go up here to the address bar, and I can simply type in CMD, and it will open up a command prompt at the right directory that I'm looking for. Or, so in Explorer, if I have the directory I want to change to in the list view here, I can right click on it whilst holding down the shift key so that shift and right click and I will see open command window here and it will open up the command prompt for me. If I do it normally without the shift key I won't see that value. So right click with the left shift key down open command window here. Now I can do that on XP as well if I install the Windows XP Power Toy. So if I do a search for Windows XP Power Toys open command window here then go off to the Microsoft site. This moves about, so always do a search first. Then Power Toys. Then I want this open command window here. And when that's downloaded and installed, I can do a very similar thing in XP just by right clicking on the folder name from Windows Explorer. With it open in the right directory, I can run commands in this directory. So I can do dir to show the directory listings. I can move up and down the directories. If I do cd dot dot, that means move up a directory. Dir to see what that is. I can change directory to a subdirectory by typing cd and then the name of the subdirectory, and I will navigate around. I can do cls to clear the actual display, and I can change the title of these windows. So I could do title, then a window name and then it will change the title of that window to that. You probably want to use something very sensible, like Bob, 
so that you can distinguish between these windows in the various listings of command line windows that you're going to see on screen. You can find resources for what commands are available to you by searching for Windows command line reference or at the command prompt itself, type in help and you get a list of commands. Then if you want help on those commands, you can type help. If I do help rename, I'll see the help for that rename command. Now the most obvious difference you'll notice between the different versions of Windows is how you start the Windows command line. WinR, then type command works on everything above XP. So if you get in the habit of using that, you'll be able to switch between versions of the operating system easily. So to summarize, if you want to change directory to an absolute path, even if it's on another drive, use CD slash D. The easiest way of getting the path is by going into Windows Explorer, copying it, then pasting it using the edit paste into there and changing directory that way. Or if you're on Vista and above, then you can use the Explorer window to do that, either by typing command in the address bar or holding down shift when you use the right click. Or on XP, you can install the Windows Power Toy. So I hope that helps. It's a very quick run through. You should have enough information now to start experimenting with the command line.